What's up, guys? Um, this message is actually going out to just my wonderful, just beautiful, amazing, amazing girlfriend, Abby's parents. Alright? And this is something that I can prove time and time again is that I love your guys' daughter. I really do. I love Abby to death. Honestly, she is literally the best thing to happen to me. Hands down. Alright? You guys can hate me all you want. I don't care if you guys hate me. I really don't. But the fact of the matter is, Mr. and Mrs. Tudor, I love your daughter, Abby. And I'm not giving up on her. And I know damn well she ain't giving up me. And like I said in my last live stream, instead of judging me by my past and what happened in my past, judge me by how I am now. Let go of the past. The past is the past. Leave it in the past. Let what my ex Tiffany did to me and making me look like I was a bad guy, let that shit go. That's done. That's over. I'm not the bad guy you guys seem to think that I am. I love your daughter with all my heart. And there's not a damn thing I would not do for her to make sure that she's happy. You guys need to stop putting these doubts in her head. You really do. Because I love your daughter more than anything on this earth. Honestly, there's no words to say just how much I do love your daughter. I really do love Abby more than anything. And instead of bashing on me like you guys are doing, you need to sit down and you need to get to know me and give me a chance. Because what you're doing is not fair. It's not fair to me, and it sure is fucking fair to Abby. I'm sitting here reaching out, trying to give you guys a chance. But yet you throw it back in both my face and hers. And for what? Because of some stupid shit that happened last year that wasn't even my fault? I'm not the creep guys are making me out to be. I'm really not. I'm actually one of the nicest people you could ever meet. And maybe if you guys would sit down long enough and see, maybe you guys would see that I'm not the evil person that you guys are making me out to be. I love Abby. I want to spend the rest of my life with her so bad. Like, you guys have no idea. And you guys think that when we don't that what we have, like, you don't think that what we have is real. But here's a reality check for you guys. What me and Abby have is very, very real. It really is. Just because we're, I'm not there physically or she's not here physically, that doesn't mean that what we have isn't real. What me and Abby have is very, very real. We FaceTime every damn day. Every day we FaceTime. We talk to each other. We spend time together as much as we possibly can until she can get down here. And I guarantee you once she gets down here and we're finally able to see each other, you know, physically, I guarantee you you'll see that she's very happy with me and that I'm not the evil person that you're making me out to be. I love you guys' daughter with all my heart and soul. I really do. She inspires me to push my music every day. She inspires me to be the best person that I could possibly be. And when I feel like giving up, she does not let me give up. 
You know, she's there when I need her, just like I'm there for her. She makes me truly happy, just like I'm just like I make her happy. And why can't you guys see that? You know, like I said, I want to spend the rest of my life with your daughter because she's the one. Abby is my one true love, just like I'm hers. And instead of thinking about yourselves, think about your daughter and what makes her happy. And what makes her happy is being with me. I love Abby so much. And I'll be honest, Abby is the best thing that, she's the best thing that ever happened to me. She really is. You know, Abby's the one thing that I look forward to every day. You know, I'm talking to Abby and spending time with Abby. That's the one thing that I look forward to every day. Every day I bust my ass for your daughter because I love her and I want a life with her. Just like she wants with me. And there isn't anything I wouldn't do to make her happy. There really isn't. And I can promise you guys that I'm not the evil person that you guys are making me out to be. I'm really not. In fact, I'm the opposite of that. I work hard every day. I not only bust my ass in my career and what I do, but I bust my ass hoping to take care of my mom as well. And the time I get to spend with Abby means the world to me. And honestly, I couldn't think of anyone, anyone better to be married to down the road than her. Because your daughter knows me better than anyone. So you guys need to stop putting this negative crap in her head and let her be happy with me. If anything, you guys should be encouraging her to come see me. You guys should be helping her figure out a way to come here. Not tearing her down. Because like I said before, you guys might think that what me and her have isn't real. But I can assure you, it is very, very real in the most real way. Let me tell you something. Ever since I met Abby and we got together, she changed me for the better. Yeah, when I was younger, I used to be reckless, stupid, did some crazy stuff. I mean, I'll admit, I was a little bit on the wild side when I was a lot younger. And before I met Abby, I was in a very dark place. I didn't think I would ever find true happiness. But then when I met Abby and I got together with Abby, that's when it all changed. Your daughter makes me the happiest person in the world. She really does. And there's not a damn thing I would not do to make sure that she's happy with me. I love you, Abby, so much, babe. More than you know.
So Mr. and Mrs. Duder, instead of bashing on me and tearing me down and being negative towards Abby and me being together, why don't you try helping her? Try helping her stay positive. Or that you want her to be happy. If anything, help her to find a way to come see me. Not tear her down. Because like I said, I love Abby so much more than you guys even know. You know, she's been there for me through all the good days, all the bad days. You know, the ups, the downs. She's always been there. When I first lost, you know, my musical inspiration and hero Chester Bennington last year to suicide, who he was actually also a very dear friend to me as well. She was there for me. She helped get me through it. And yeah, what happened last year was very unfortunate with my ex Tiffany. That was very unfortunate and I had no idea that that was going to happen. That was not me that did what my ex did. And I hope you guys see that now. You know, now that me and her are back together, I'm not going to leave your daughter or hurt her. I won't do like her exes did. That's not me. I will never give up on your daughter. Ever. Honestly, I'll be straight up honest with you. I would rather die than lose Abby. I really would. I would, if I could give the whole world to Abby and the homes, I would do that without question. Your daughter, Abby, is what pushes me to do my career every single day and to do what I'm best at. And I don't just, you know, do my career for me. I do it so I can build a future for me and her every day. Like I said, I really would like you guys to give me a chance. That's all I'm asking is for you guys to give me a chance to get to know me. Just like I'm doing for you guys. I want to get to know you guys. I really do. Let me tell you something. The rest of your guys' family loves me to death. But what I don't understand is why you guys can't see past what you think is negative and give me a fair chance. Yes, I understand that I live in another state, but you know what? Me and Abby make it work every day. And that's what true love is about. Is It's not about the distance. It's about making it work. And that's what me and Abby do every day. We make it work. And we're going to continue to make it work until she can get here. That's true love. And I truly love your daughter. And there is no one on earth I would rather spend the rest of my life with than her. Just plain and simple. Your daughter makes me happy and I make her happy. And like I said, Mr. and Mrs. Duder, I hope that you guys will see this and reconsider and actually give me a fair chance and get to know me. Because I would love to get to know you guys too. I love you, Abby. So much, baby.